While in China, an American man is very sexually promiscuous and does not use a condom the entire time he is there. A week after arriving back home in the States, he wakes one morning to find his anus covered with bright green and purple spots, horrified, he immediately goes to see a doctor. The doctor, never having seen anything like this before, orders some tests and tells the man to return in two days for the results, the man returns a couple of days later and the doctor says, I've got bad news for you, you've contracted Mongolian BD. It's very rare and almost unheard of here in the US, we know very little about it. The man looks a little perplexed and says, well, give me a shot or something and fix me up, doc. The doctor answers, I'm sorry, there's no known cure. We're going to have to amputate your anus. The man screams in horror, absolutely not. I want a second opinion, the doctor replies, well, it's your choice. Go ahead, if you want but surgery is your only option. The next day, the man seeks out a Chinese doctor, figuring that he'll know more about the disease. The Chinese doctor examines his anus and proclaims, ah, yes, Mongolian VD. Very rare disease, the guy says to the doctor, yeah, yeah, I already know that, but what can we do? My American doctor wants to cut off my anus. The Chinese doctor shakes his head and laughs. Stupid American doctors always want to amputate, make more money that way. No need to amputate. Oh, thank God, the man exclaims. Yes, says the Chinese doctor. Wait two weeks, fall off by itself. My wife said we could each have three hall passes. She picked Henry Cavill, Jason Momoa, and Matt Damon, but then she got mad at me for my picks. Apparently her sister, our kid's kindergarten teacher and in Kelsey in the marketing department were the wrong answers. Two bored male casino dealers are waiting at the craps table. A very attractive blonde woman arrives and bets $20,000 on a single roll of the dice. She says, I hope you don't mind, but I feel much luckier when I'm completely nude. With that, she strips down, rolls the dice, and yells, come on, baby, mama needs new clothes. As the dice come to a stop she jumps up and down and squeals, yes, yes. I won, I won. She hugs each of the dealers, picks up her winnings and her clothes, and quickly departs. The dealers stare at each other dumbfounded. Finally, one of them asks, what did she roll? The other answers, I don't know, I thought you were watching. A man with a Great Dane and a man with a Chihuahua go to a bar, but it says, no pets allowed. One man says to the other, how will we bring our dogs inside? The second man gives the first a pair of very dark sunglasses and says, do what I do. He goes inside and the manager says, sorry, no pets allowed. The man says, you don't understand. This is my guide dog. A Great Dane? Really? Says the manager, yeah, they just got them into service. He's great at protecting me, and his sense of smell allows me to easily find my way around the city, the manager decides to let him in. The man with the chihuahua was watching carefully, and goes, how hard can this be? So he puts on his sunglasses and goes to the bar. The manager sees him and says once again, sorry sir, not pets allowed. You don't understand, this is my guide dog, a chihuahua, a chihuahua. They gave me a chihuahua? A woman goes to the doctor because her ut hurts. Doctor, where does it hurt exactly? Women, at the entrance, doctor, well lady if you keep calling it an entrance then it's going to keep hurting. I uninstalled Facebook as I got depressed seeing my friends post their relationship and marriage. I uninstalled LinkedIn as I got depressed seeing my colleague post their job change and promotion. I uninstalled Instagram as I got depressed seeing my friends travel and enjoy their lives. But I'll never uninstall Reddit because you guys are more miserable than me. I ran into my wife's ex. He smarmily asked, how do you like that used dussy? I told him, it ain't too bad once you get past the used part. Lying in bed, about ready to consummate their marriage, when the new bride says to her husband Johnny. I have a confession to make, I'm not a virgin. Johnny replies. That's no big thing in this day and age. The wife continues. Yeah, I've been with one other guy. Oh yeah? Who was the guy? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, the golfer? Yeah. Well he's rich, famous and handsome. I can see why you went to bed with him. Then Johnny and his wife then make passionate love. When they get done, Johnny gets up and walks to the telephone. What are you doing? Says the wife. Johnny says. I'm hungry, I was going to call room. Service and get some food. Tiger wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? What would Tiger do? He'd come back to bed and do it a second time. Johnny puts down the phone and goes back to bed to make love with his wife a second time. When they finish, he gets up and goes over to the phone. What are you doing? She says. Johnny says. I'm still hungry so I was going to get room service to get some food, Tiger wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? What would Tiger do? He'd come back to bed and do it one more time. Johnny slams down the phone and goes back to bed and makes love to his wife one more time. 
When they finish he's tired and beat. He drags himself over to the phone and starts to deal. The wife asks. Are you calling room service? No. I'm calling Tiger Woods to find out what's par for this hole. An eight-year-old girl went to the office with her dad on a take-your-kid-to-work day. As they were walking around the office the young girl was getting crankier and crankier, crying and sobbing. Her father asked what was wrong with her. As the concerned office staff gathered around she sobbed loudly, Daddy, where are all the clowns you said you worked with? A man leaving his apartment building runs into his female neighbor on the elevator. Good morning, what are you up to today? He asks. She replies, I'm going down to give blood. How much do you get paid for giving blood? He asks. About $20 a pint. She says. Hmm, the man, says. I'm going up to donate sperm, and the sperm bank pays $100 a tablespoon. The woman is left with a questioning expression on her face as the man leaves the elevator. The next day they meet in the elevator again. The man asks, so, where are you off to today? FM or Mank, she says, with her mouth full. Three nuns die in a car accident and arrive at the pearly gates. St. Peter says to the first nun, sister, you've lead an exemplary life, performed many good deeds, feed the hungry, cared for the sick. Do you have anything to confess before I let you into heaven? The nun looks serious and answers him, St. Peter, I have to confess something. Once, when I was a young novice and naive about the world, I gave a mon a hand job in the confessional. St. Peter is surprised, but he tells her, well, sister, that was one tiny mistake in a lifetime of pious service. Wash your hands in the holy water, say ten Hail Marys and you can go on into heaven. Seeing all this, the third nun in line taps the sister in front of her and says, sister, would it be okay if I cut in front of you in line? The second nun says, well, certainly sister, but why? The third nun replies, I want to gargle that holy water before you stick your SS in it. A 70-year-old man goes into a brothel. He picks out a young pretty woman. Dot dot dot. They go up to her room, strip down and climb into bed. The old man performs like a teenager, the prostitute is amazed at how energetic and agile highs, she tells him if he can do it like that again, she'll give him one for free. He says, yeah, I can, but I need to take a 20-minute nap. And while I'm asleep, I need you to hold my old ecker. She agrees, he wakes up 20 minutes later and goes at it again, just as vigorously as before. The girl is amazed at the old man's stamina, Andre peeps her freebie offer, the old man tells her that once again, he'll need a 20 minute nap and she'll have to hold his ick while he's asleep. She does as he asks, he wakes up 20 minutes later and he goes at it again, with even more enthusiasm than previously. The hooker catches her breath, and needing to satisfy her curiosity, asks the old man, I can't understand why you need a nap, but why do you need me to hold your ick while you're sleeping? The old man replies, oh, that's just so you don't steal my wallet. My Asian waiter just handed my food to the wrong customer because he's racist and thinks all white people look the same. Wait, never mind. That wasn't my waiter. My daughter came home today and said, dad, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend Mike. Are you kidding me? I said, what the UCK are you doing with this ugly loser? Don't scrape the barrel, you can do much better than this. Dad. My daughter screamed, Mike is lovely, I know. I replied, I was talking to him. Last night I was offered a threesome by two hot twins. X with Jessica felt great, but Jeremy was a pain in the SS. Kid, Mum, what's an RGASM? Mum, I dunno, ask your dad. The sky was looking ominous so I asked Siri, Shirley, it's not going to rain today? And she replied, yes it is, and don't call me Shirley. That was when I realized I'd left my phone on airplane mode. My daughter asked me, Dad, why don't you treat me like a princess? So I married her off to the King of Spain in exchange for 5,000 acres on the Costa del Sol. Soviet joke, a man walks into a shop. He asks the clerk, you don't have any meat? The clerk says, no, here we don't have any fish, the shop that doesn't have any meat is across the street. Why are chess players good in bed? They can find up to 8 G spots for their queen. For a morale boost and publicity stunt, Putin visits a Moscow elementary school. He talks to them about how Russia is a powerful country admired around the world. At the end of the talk, there is some time for questions. Little Sasha puts her hand up and says, I have a question, why did we invade Crimea and Ukraine? Putin says, good questions. But just as he is about to answer, the bell goes, and the kids go for lunch. When they come back, they sit back down and there is time for some more questions so another girl, Misha, puts her hand up and says, I have three questions. My questions are, why did the Russians invade Crimea and Ukraine? Why did the bell go 20 minutes early for lunch? And where is Sasha? What's the difference between a job and a wife after six years? A job still sucks.
I decided to put together a support group for erectile dysfunction. It was a big flop and nobody came.